Hi, this is Jim Starkweather, the publisher of Kitmaker Network and Armorama.com, and welcome to another episode of Turning the Page. Today we've got for you from Ampersand Publishing, this is German Panzer I by David Doyle, a visual history of the German Army's World War II light tank. Now this is not a softcover book, this is actually a hardcover book. It's actually come to us in this nice shrink wrap, which I will now peel off carefully. Um, and uh, it is... Uh, probably, I'm not sure this is going to be available also in softcover or whether this is just a hardcover only kind of thing. Don't know if they're going to, you know, like make both available at some point or maybe the softcover will be available down the line. But I'm sure for people who like hardcovers, uh, this book obviously will be a welcome uh, thing. Uh, you can see on the back here we've got a nice uh, color picture there. This book is um, about 170 pages or so, 169 pages. Uh, you can see on the inside jacket they've got some nice uh, little shots of photos, I'm sure, that are from the book. So you can see quite a variety of, of photos here, and I don't mind giving you this view for a while because obviously this is a nice way to do it without having to flip the pages. So you can see uh, a small little smidgen of, of what, uh, what photos are going to be represented uh, probably most likely in the book. We'll take a look for some of these to make sure they're in here. But, um, but yeah, I think that's a great idea, actually, especially for, for, for my stuff. All right, so table of contents. We've got uh, Panzer 1 Offs A, Panzer 1 Offs B, uh, Leash Funk, Panzer Wagon, Klein Panzer, Befels Wagon, uh, Kampf uh, Wagon 1 Variants, Kampf Wagon 1 Off C, Off F, Off A in uh, detail, Off B in detail, and Off F in detail. So that I'm not sure those are maybe internal parts or what the in detail things are. We'll see. Um, you can see there's some, some introduction text here, which I probably kind of skipped over a bit of it. Hold on. I've uh, got an introduction page here with uh, quite a bit of, of reading there uh, and uh, going on to uh, various... Uh, um, different versions and so forth, talking about them in advance of the photos. Uh, the photos will have uh, captions like like here in this little block. Um, so uh, this one, for example, says the Panzer One or Panzer Kampfwagen One was the first mass-produced tank that the Germans would use in World War II. It was produced in several uh, batches, series of two distinct models or Offsprung. Uh, offs. Uh, the first model was the Offs A, which was easily recognizable by the four road wheels and three return rollers on the suspension and the large rear idler wheel for uh, that con contacts the ground. So uh, yeah, very interesting. Uh, tidbits of information in that little paragraph. Um, so you can see they've got a lot of uh, photos here of kind of early uh, pre-war photos. Uh, probably a lot of these will be because uh, this tank was obviously only served uh, like this for a few years, especially the Os, the Os A. Um, and then uh, I think it was used in the Spanish Civil War, I want to say, and obviously had some other history uh, prior to World War to itself, but uh, you can just kind of see, you know, just flipping through quickly, obviously, because it's a reference book, and I'm not, like, sitting for forever on one photo. This is a high-res video, after all. Uh, <laughs> anyways, you can see there's quite a few photos in here. I mean, it, it is, it, for for this series of books, the Panzer One, it's going to be, you know, quite the book to have. Um, that looks like uh, an Os F. Wow, that's, uh, that's got some heavy track wheels on it and stuff. So, uh, but that's obviously a later version. Uh, in World of Tanks, they have the Os J, which is about impossible to kill at uh, Tier 3. So, yeah, just some little information there. Um, so we, the in-detail parts look like they are actually um, reference vehicles. Uh, so they probably show, I would imagine, a range of photos here, maybe including some interior photos. Yes, including some parts of the interior, engine detail, and mostly external stops then. Uh, but uh, very interesting stuff. So um, our thanks to uh, Ampersand and, and uh, for sending us this sample book. And uh, congrats to David Doyle for getting a nice hardcover reference book for the Panzer One Outs. And uh, please leave your comments and feedback below. And we will um, see you next time on Turning the Page. Mm -hmm.